What is up guys, Petrify here, in today's video we're going to be going over the best deactivatory settings for Counter-Strike, Minecraft, whatever game you guys want to record on PC, I'm going to be giving you guys the best settings for low-end PCs and high-end PCs, whatever desktop or laptop you have. Now, if you don't have a pretty good laptop, I definitely don't recommend trying to record or uploading. If you don't get 60 plus FPS, I definitely don't recommend trying to record PC at all. Um, but you guys can still try if you really want to, but it's going to be really hard on your PC overall. Now, getting straight into the best settings, uh, this part doesn't matter. Just go over to the black box right here, and you guys will see all of this checked like this. Now, this means do you want your... Uh, in your video, do you want your FPS to show like your FPS in game to show on your uh, video? Now that's completely up to you guys. Personally, I just uncheck it all because I really don't care if uh, the FPS is up on my screen or not. It just takes less uh, CPU away. Um, so I definitely recommend not to turn that on unless you want your uh, viewers to see your FPS. Um, but anyways, going on to the next one. Now, this I have two of them here. I can uh, delete one for you guys real quick. Uh, let's do remove. So if you want to add one, if you guys don't have one added already, just right-click, add folder, then go to this PC and uh, go to videos, and uh, you can rename it. I'm going to make a new folder just for you guys. We're going to call it uh, vid. We're just going to call it vid. And then we're going to click enter and then press OK. And then what you want to do is click on this clock right here and click run. It will uh, run your megabits per second to tell you how fast uh, your videos will compress into that folder. Mine is 151 megabits per second, which is very good. Um, and then moving on to you in the next one, this would be F12. I definitely recommend changing it to something that you don't use in game. Uh, F12 is a default uh uh, screenshot for Steam and also for PC so I changed mine to the open bracket because I never use that for anything in game unless it's for sensitivity or sensitivity um, for Counter-Strike uh, other than that I don't use that at all uh, moving on to the most important part of this video which is the video quality now um, if you guys don't have a 1 terabyte or 500 gigabytes worth of storage um, I will leave a link down in the description for you guys to download uh, something new for the extra to make the file size smaller because if you say if you record it recorded 15 minutes of video it will be at least 89 gigabytes yes 89 gigabytes yeah so if you guys don't have that good of storage um, you guys will have to download uh, the drivers that I put down in the description just click on it and download it and you're good to go but I have a one terabyte and terabyte hard drive so I can stay on the default settings and the reason why I want to stay on default settings to make my video quality even better now what you can do is click on this little pin right here and this will pop up and it will be on true quality and for some reason true quality and high quality it really doesn't look that good on the exitory um, for some reason usually high quality and true quality is like the best but on the exitory medium quality and low quality it look the best overall for whatever uh, whatever games you are recording now I stay on medium quality because I have do I do have a good PC and uh, I personally just like medium quality better than the low quality and this will be unchecked make sure you check that so you it can so it can compress all your videos I can't speak I'm very tired anyways um, personally for PC gameplay I like to record in 30 FPS for console gameplay I like to record in 60 uh, but like I said for 30 30 FPS on PC is a pretty good um, 30 FPS is for clarity and uh, 60 FPS is just for uh, clarity and better quality overall, but I really do enjoy the clarity for like Counter-Strike. I mainly record Counter-Strike on PC, so I stay with 30. Um, but if you guys are trying to do Minecraft or anything like that, uh, you might want to bump it up to 60 if you do have a good enough PC. Uh, but if you have a lower end PC, I definitely recommend to uh, lower it to 30 and nothing lower than 30, nothing higher than 30 if you have a low end PC. If you have a high end PC, 60 for sure. Now for file output, you want to click file output. Make sure that is checked. You need that checked no matter what. Um, and you also need AVI or else your videos will look awful. So click on AVI, make sure that's checked. And then down here, it'll say percentage or percent. Click on 100% and then size. Uh, you guys will have to figure out what size your monitor is. Mine is 1920 by 1080. So that's 1080p quality. 
if you guys have a, a 1080 by 720 you guys will be recording in 720 unfortunately so you guys won't have a choice it depends on your monitor or TV whatever you're using now moving on to the uh, last two steps which is uh, your microphone now uh, number one is for your audio on PC for like your gameplay so if you have speakers you will click on speakers for me I have a Astro mix amp and Astro headset so I have mine as the Astro mix amp because that's where I hear my game volume from and then click on this plus sign and a number two box will come up and if you guys want to do commentaries in your videos um, then click down on this and click on your microphone that you do use for your videos. For me, it is a blue snowball. It's a very good microphone. I love it. Uh, I only spent it and I had it for two years so far. And it was only 60 bucks when I bought it. It's down to 40 now, I think. And uh, also, you guys want to keep on PCM. I don't know what all this other stuff does, but PCM is the best. And then uh, 96 hertz is probably the best uh, overall, 32-bit. Uh, because the other ones you just have to have a really good sound card for it and uh, most people really don't have uh, good sound cards now moving on to the last part which this would be set to 60 depending on what you guys want to record if you guys are recording a 60 then put it to 60 FPS and if you guys are recording a 30 make sure it goes to 30 or else that will ruin your CPU overall now if you guys have a quad thread processor then definitely bump it up to like three or something uh, but I have um, I have four threads so I just keep mine at one because it looks fine and there's nothing else that you really need to do now that's the best uh, video quality recording settings for CSGO Minecraft anything like that uh, I've been using these settings for quite a bit, uh, for quite some time, and I personally feel like these are the best settings uh, to use with a low-end PC, even a high-end PC. Now, I was mainly doing these settings for a low-end PC, so if you guys do have a really good uh, PC, just bump up the settings just a little bit and make it a lot better uh, for your videos, for your YouTube channel, things like that. But if you guys did enjoy this video, uh, drop a thumbs up. And if you guys want me to do a review on the OBS, this is OBS right here. If you guys see this screen multiple times, it's because um, I'm currently recording with OBS. But if you guys want me to do a tutorial on how to record with OBS, things like that, I can also do that. Uh, just put it down in the description. If we get 20 likes on this video, I will do that tutorial. And uh, you guys can stay tuned to my channel. But that's going to be the end of this video. If you guys did enjoy, please like, comment, subscribe. Until the next video, peace.